Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You use the gradient tool to create a gradient fill, which is a gradual blend between multiple colors. There are a few preset gradients contained within elements, and you can also create your own gradients. You create a gradient in an image by clicking and dragging within a selection or a layer. The starting and ending points of the area over which you drag your mouse will often impact the gradient's appearance, depending on which gradient style you select. To apply a gradient fill, first select the area to which you want to apply the gradient fill. If you do not select anything, the gradient will be applied to the entire layer currently selected within the Layers panel. Next, click the Gradient Tool button within the toolbox. In the Tool Options bar, use the Gradient Selector drop-down to select a preset gradient to apply. You can also click the Gradient Sample displayed in the drop-down, or click the Edit button to launch the Gradient Editor, where you can create your own custom gradient. You will examine that tool in the next lesson. Then use the Mode drop-down to select which blending mode to use for the gradient fill. You can use the Opacity slider to select the transparency of the entire gradient fill if desired. If you check the Reverse checkbox, the order of the colors in the gradient will be reversed. To use a transparency mask for the gradient fill, check the Transparency checkbox. To create a smoother gradient with less obvious banding between the colors, check the Dither checkbox. Next, select which style of gradient you wish to create. Linear gradient, which shades from the starting point to the ending point in a straight line. Radial gradient, which shades from the starting point to the ending point in a circular pattern. Angle gradient, which shades in a counterclockwise sweep around the starting point. Reflected gradient, which shades symmetric linear gradients on either side of the starting point. Or diamond gradient, which shades from the starting point to the ending point in a diamond shape. To then apply your gradient, click and drag from the starting point to the ending point of the gradient. To restrict the line drawn to 45 degree angles, hold down the shift key as you click and drag out the starting and ending points of the gradient. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.